Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use the ePaper module from WEACT Studio to create a clock and date display. I'm using a 3-color ePaper controlled by an ESP8266. The total pins used are 8 pins. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to use this ePaper, including setting up the clock. Let's get started. To use this ePaper, we need a library. In the Library Manager, search for a library called GXEPD2, then click Install to add it. For the example code, I'm using the one available on WEACT Studio's GitHub, as I find it more concise and easier to use. On WEACT Studio's GitHub, you can either download the entire repository or just the example for ESP8266. Here's the example code for using the WEAC Studio ePaper. I'm using a 2.13 inch ePaper with three colors. For the wiring, connect it as specified in the code. As for the module, I selected GXEPDBW, which is originally meant for black and white modules that support partial screen updates. This is because the 3C or 3 color module doesn't actually support partial screen updates. This is the display after uploading the code to the ESP8266. During initialization, the screen will flash to display the text set in the full window, which is Hello World. Next, it performs a full screen partial window to add additional text. Afterward, it returns to display Hello World again, followed by a partial screen update, where rectangles appear in various positions along with text inside those rectangles. Since I'm using a 3CE paper module, the colors displayed differ from what's defined in the code. To achieve the best results, it's recommended to use a black and white module, as it is fully compatible with partial updates. We can see that during a full window update, the screen flickers. This happens because ePaper displays require a full refresh cycle to update all the pixels. The flickering occurs as the display updates each pixel layer by layer to ensure high contrast and image clarity. This is a characteristic of ePaper technology and helps prevent ghosting, residual images, on the screen. However, during a partial update, there is no flicker. For example, when displaying a rectangle and showing a number inside it, Ghosting may cause the old rectangle or text to appear faintly alongside the new content, as only the updated section is refreshed. This occurs because only specific sections are updated, leaving some old pixels visible. Next, from the example code, I will try to create a partial update screen that will display numbers starting from 100 up to 999. I will still use the GXEPD2BW module because we will be using partial screen updates, so make sure the pin connections are correct. There's a function called header underscore text that will display the text incremental and counting at the top. This text will be shown first when the screen initializes. The show partial update will display a rectangle with a white background, and inside the rectangle, the text counting will show numbers starting from 100 up to 999. This partial update will update only the section of the screen where the rectangle and numbers are located, leaving the rest of the screen unchanged. Here is the e-paper display showing the incremental counting numbers from 100 to 999 with a specified interval. We can see that the number changes are a partial screen update, meaning only the area inside the rectangle is updated, without affecting the entire screen. However, ghosting may occur, where faint remnants of previous numbers or rectangles could be visible due to the partial update not fully clearing the previous content. Next, I will create code that displays the current date and time. To get the current time, I will use the network time protocol, NTP, so an internet connection is required. Make sure the Wi-Fi connection, time zone for NTP are configured correctly, and the necessary libraries are installed properly. 
To display the header and the current date, I use a full window update. This ensures that the header and date are fully refreshed at the beginning. However, for updating the current time, I use a partial screen update. This allows the time to update continuously without causing any flicker, as only the area displaying the time is refreshed, keeping the rest of the screen unchanged. In conclusion, in this video, we explored how to use the ePaper module from WEAC Studio with the ESP8266 to display a clock, date, and incremental counting numbers. We learned how to implement both full window and partial screen updates for smooth, flicker-free updates. The full window update was used for displaying the header and date, while the partial update efficiently refreshed the time and counting numbers without affecting the rest of the screen. By utilizing the GEP2 library and NTP for time synchronization, we created a dynamic display that updates in real time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps in your ePaper projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.